The following is real footage of a man with no internet. Be aware that some of what you're about to see is disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. We're off the grid today. No internet. You never realize all the great things that you can't do until your internet's actually gone. I can't do Star Stable. I can't do Roblox. I can't do Toontown Rewritten. I don't even know what else there is in life. But what do you do? There's no internet, you gotta make a video. How do you get around that? You can't even Google... UADI 90S. I mean, it still gives us things that we can do. And this, this is pretty... I don't even know how to... Hey, there we go. Okay. I don't think I've ever made it this far. As a game, this is probably something that you would have bought for, like, $100 back on the Atari, and nowadays it's just a built-in web browser offline thing. But as a metaphor, it's actually kind of deep. You see this dinosaur. Maybe it's a raptor. Maybe it's a Tyrannosaurus patter. And it represents, you know, we're in, we're in the desert off the grid. There's nothing here for us. Just clouds. That guy, but we can't stop and talk. We're on a mission. Mission to make a video. No internet, and we got work to do, and we can't stop and talk. And it's nighttime, and I didn't choose this. I didn't know it did this. Just unlocked a really cool Easter egg. Can't play Battlefield 1. Can't play Overwatch. Can't play... I didn't even know I had this. Can't play Undertale. I just played these. I can't do two videos on that, like, one after the other. That'd be <laughs> unheard of. What do I have here? What is this? I have no idea what this is. Alright, that was cool. You can always go back to the simple things in life, like drawing at the very least. Sometimes you have to embrace your creativity to have fun. This is one of those times. See, it is not a good idea to let me get bored, because I do some things I probably shouldn't do. As you can see, I do some pretty terrible things. I've tried seeking therapy, but at this point I'm, I'm probably a little too far gone. Plus, pretty sure you need internet to sign up for that kind of thing, so... I don't always do things too crazy. I mean... Remember when Windows used to have built-in games? Like... Solitaire? I know you remember Space Pinball, if you ever played that. I just don't know how to get to things like that anymore, which is kind of upsetting. Do I have this? I have this? Why do I have this? Oh, okay, no, I'm not, I'm not consenting. You do not have my consent. Please go away. There's other games on here. There has to be. Microsoft Solitaire Collection? money? Maybe I was alone on this, but you ever remember back in the day when you just, you didn't have anything? You didn't have any good games to play, or you were probably young and really picky and didn't want to play any of the games you had? So you would, you play these, these games. You play yourself some solitaire, and that's about all that Windows had. Minesweep? Does it have Minesweeper on here? Minecraft? I didn't know I had that. No Minesweeper, you've gotta be kidding me. That's a classic. You don't have Windows without Minesweeper. I am so good at this. I actually can't believe I played that that long. <coughs> oh, you know what? Actually, yes, I have all the Windows. Oh man, I get nostalgia for this every time I start up. Last time I started up my Windows 98 virtual machine was when I did Sonic Schoolhouse. Do I have the disc for that? <laughs> oh my gosh. Do I have this on here? Still? Oh, okay. This program has performed an illegal operation and will be shut down. That's a little intense. Yo, do I have... Okay, I still have Sonic Schoolhouse, and it's somewhere in this mess of everything that I refuse to organize. Oh, okay. 
did not think I'd be... It's actually a little bit heavy. I didn't think I'd be digging this thing out again. That's broken. Ugh, that mint condition Sonic Schoolhouse. It's beautiful. Alright, I don't even know if it's still set to run from the VM. That answers that question. Why am I playing this again? Sonic Schoolhouse, Sonic Schoolhouse, Patter the Knot is a... I can't click on it. It's been too long, Sonic. Good to see you again. Good to see you, other Sonic. Good to see you, third Sonic. By the way, I don't think good to see you is the correct salutation. Jeez. Let me in, Sonic. Dude, I have my drug money. Doggone it. Did they erase all my data? Yeah, yeah, I don't have anything. Well, forget this. I did want to take a trip back and... <laughs> no, I didn't. But it's kind of kind of good to come back here and kind of just normalize this. Just just going through and clicking on all of these is just making... It's, it's taking away the power of this. The snock meme started from uh, my my Sonic Schoolhouse video, and I was trying to. This guy was snock. I named I named him snock, and uh, everybody just started calling Sonic snock. So I just kind of went with it. But th this is the original snock right here. This freak of nature. I will applaud this game for putting me in the credits. I feel like that's that's something games don't do that anymore. Remember when you beat Mario 64 and Mario's like, hey, Thank you so much for playing my game. Nowadays it's just like, Good job, beat the game, Wait, buy the DLC. See these old offline games? Sometimes we need the internet to be taken away from us to really appreciate these old things. Oh, I do have XP. <gasps> Didn't that have Space Pinball on it? Unable to find Virtual Machine. Okay. Did ME have that? Oh, that's not even there either. What did I do with them? Oh, I don't have an ISO for this one. Doggone it. Well, no Space Pinball today. I'm not upset. It's fine. Well, we could... We could do some dark forces, I guess. Oh! Mm, that orchestrated soundtrack. Sounds like one of those, like, tin whistle remixes that you would hear when someone's making a dank meme compilation. Oh my gosh. Sp spaceship thing. Dark Forces. You know how lit this opening screen would have been back in the MS-DOS days? Alright, so I actually have a game. I was playing through this, and I don't remember why I stopped, but I... Oh gosh, this mouse. I'm off Rebus. <laughs> Rebus. Oh, this mission. Oh my gosh, I hate it with a passion. So, if you think it's hard to see, because these textures have about... One pixel per million pixels on my monitor. Just look at all the hidden gaps and stuff. Like, you, you can't even see these from half the angles. And this one's all about platforming and finding the like, Good aim, Peter. And no, you can't look up and down, so I'm taking blind leaps of faith here and trying to figure out where my distancing is with these jumps. I didn't know that was a platform. I was just gonna walk right off the edge. Oh, I see you there. Ooh. My eye is hurt trying to look that deep into the screen to snipe that guy. Hey there. You stink at life. Okay, you die. Oh, it does have a little bit of an auto-aim. Considering I physically and technically am unable to aim upward. Can I go down here? Oh, there's a bunch of guys. Y'all going down! Mmm! Get owned! That butt, though. Hey! No, 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 no. Get turned on. Who's shooting? What are you guys doing in your little cubby hole here? Boo! I can't look down to see these things! I don't know how to crouch. See. Shoot to see. Do you like seizures? What am I doing? Oh, there's a thing! Stop! Nope, nope, nope. Okay, wow. My eyes are actually dying right now. I have outcast on here? Do I? Okay, for those of you who haven't played this game, it is 
the most underrated Star Wars game of all time. Look how many saves I have, oh my gosh. Like most people, I love Star Wars Battlefront, I loved Rogue Squadron, all the games in the series I thought were really good. Uh, Republic Commando is fantastic, but this game, like, gets nothing. I never hear people talk about this game being a great Star Wars game. I've probably done this first mission a hundred times. Don't you dare say that these characters look creepy, because they don't. They're beautiful. Okay, this, this is where it's at. This was, for me, this reminded me a lot of a mixture of Metroid Prime and The Legend of Zelda. Gee, it sure is boring around here. You can hear the stormtroopers talking, that's so cool. My aim's a little off, but uh, I haven't played in a while. How about a kiss? Yeah, that's what a no, you don't. Go. Stop. <laughs> <laughs> The game was kind of a mixture of like all kinds of really fun genres. It's obviously a first person shooter, took the Imperial's key. It's like a puzzle game, you have to figure out how to get places, which kind of reminds me of Zelda, and there's a lot of platforming too, which reminds me of Metroid Prime. Hey there guys, hello, 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 don't worry, I can't aim. Okay, okay, alright, okay, chill, relax, Jan, save me please. See. This took me forever to find out. You just, you blow this thing up, and then you go down here, and that's how you progress. There's all kinds of things like this. It's kind of cryptic, but it's really rewarding when you actually figure things out. That thing you have to turn off, or else you die as soon as you go in here. And if you don't know that you can save your game, you are going to be in for a lot of restarting. I'll admit, this game has its problems. Everything being so cryptic in terms of the puzzles, and the fact that it really doesn't hold your hand much, it makes it really hard. But it's super satisfying. It makes it. You've killed me. I don't know. I feel like nobody has time to play harder games nowadays, and so they always go for these easier, newer games. Everything becomes more casual, and then we just kind of lose track of how good it feels when you actually accomplish something in really difficult games. That's like one of the reasons I'm super excited about Cuphead because, yeah, I like the art style like anybody else does, but I also just love how it's a really hard game. Everyone's playing it, and people are. Case in point. I don't know, I feel like people are kind of getting back into that realization that hard games can still really be fun. There's nothing wrong with easy games either. I love, like, linear games that hold your hands and bring you on some kind of adventure, but you just gotta, you gotta remember both sides. Well, that was fun. I got other Jedi Knights games too, but they're not quite as good, and I'm just gonna be done with Star Wars for the day. <laughs> well, I ain't playing this. <laughs> and I ain't playing this. Oh, I know something we can do, actually. Maybe. I don't even know if I still have this. Let me check. Yes, Sonic the Hedgehog 3D. Oh my gosh, I haven't played this in so long. I actually played through this entire game on my channel once. The videos are probably private now. <laughs> it's mighty, oh my gosh. This is probably one of the better Sonic fan games I've played, honestly. I have a pretty good story. The hand-drawn stuff is pretty good. Oh, it looks like Knuckles is a partner for this one. I forgot he follows you around. Oh my gosh. Skills. So many skills. Reminds me a little bit of Sonic Adventure, a little bit of Sonic 06, a little bit of fan game, so it's not perfect, but I mean, Mighty looks a little bit goofy. I ain't complaining too much, though. There's the end. Boom! Mighty got through Act 1 and got two Chaos Emeralds. Don't remember doing that. Alright, though. That's kind of cool to go back and play Schoolhouse and that game and... Jedi Knights, Sonic Forces. I like those games. I get really busy sometimes. I don't have time to appreciate things like that. Well, that's probably everything that I have to play offline, so... I don't know if you're expecting more from this video, but... That's it. I don't have internet, so... Yeah. How am I gonna upload this?